Hello, hello everyone. Happy Thursday. So I just finished watching Titans season four, episode 10, and oh, we have a pattern yet again. Um, last season, episode 10 was one of the worst episodes of Titans I've ever seen. This one is on par with last season's episode 10. I don't know what it is, the way that they structure the season. It's playing out the same way as last season. And I hate that because we came off such a high, an ill-placed high with Gar's, you know, episode. And now we're at this point of just utter stupidity. Like this episode is insanely stupid. I was watching it and I was like, why, 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 why? And the thing about it is, I think this is the longest episode of the season. And I felt like I was being tortured for almost an hour. Like I couldn't, oh my God, there was so much happening. So um, the best parts of the episode were, of course, with Gar, Corey, and Doom Patrol. Best parts of the episode, period. Um, seeing Cyborg and Gar truly interact and kind of like hating each other, but then not hating each other. It was, it was golden. Um, and seeing Cyborg and Corey interact, even for the smallest of moments, was also really, really, really fucking nice. Um, Sebastian and Connor, stupid. Utterly stupid. Yet again, yet again, are we shocked? Connor is in over his head. He tries to do something that he thinks is really smart. And it turns out he's a moron. So it doesn't really work the way he wants it to. I, I, I just, I don't know. Like, I don't. You give Sebastian all this access and power and you're surprised that he uses it to his advantage? Like, what the fuck are we doing? Mother Mayhem burning in the way that she did was utterly ridiculous. Um, oh yeah, spoilers. I'm sorry. Um, what else was happening? So Dick and Rachel had their own thing where basically he introduces Rachel to dark magic. I'm like, wait a fucking minute. How are you introducing Rachel to dark magic with two episodes left in the series? You're introducing her to dark magic now. Like the, the she has been a central part of the show since season one. And you're just now introducing her to dark magic. I uh, Timing people, timing. Anyways, moving on, moving on. Um, Tim really had nothing going on except for dealing with Bernard who slipped into a coma. So... I'm sorry. I don't really feel any kind of way about that. Um, bye bye, Bernard. For now, he'll be back. He'll be back. Um, okay. What else was going on? What else was going on? What else was going on? Um, I think that was it, honestly. I think that was it. There, it was just, it was too much and not enough. It was, it was too much going on and not enough common sense. Um, I, the episode was just insanely stupid, in my opinion. This is easily like a 5 out of 10. Yeah, maybe a 5.5. .5. If I'm being nice because of everything dealing with Doom Patrol and Gar and um, and Corey. But if I'm not dealing with that, then it's sticking out of 5. Because I just did not... This episode did not give. I don't know what it is. They structure the season almost the same way as last season. Like, why would you do that? Narratively, that season three is amongst the worst. I just, I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't like it. And um, man, it's going to be rough trying to rewatch this episode to do my in-depth review. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to freaking do it because I'm probably going to have to rant at some point in time. Um but yeah, that was my initial reaction. Let me know what you think or don't. Um, either way, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And I'll catch you guys hopefully before Wednesday. <laughs> Bye.